Hi, I'm Bob Picker, and this is the No Agendas Chilo Grid. And we're going to be doing a little uh, pack review. I think this is the second pack in the, uh, what is the cycle now? Uh, Sand Sand. Is it Sand Sand? Sand That's Sand. right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a Breaker, Breaker Bay. Bay. So, uh, and luckily for us, we got a special guest. We got Nick Ellers, and uh, he's going to join us uh, sitting in for John, because uh, John's going to be moving, I think. Yeah, real happy to be here, Rob. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Glad to have you. Yeah, so you've wanted to do some uh, uh, commentary, and we just haven't had a chance. So, hey, you got even better. You're going to do the Chilo Grid. I like this pack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get the uh, video uh, started here in the review, and uh, you get the first card. Cool. Our uh, first card is Hacktivist Support. It's an event current for the Anarchs. Cost is one, uh, standard uh, current text. And as an additional cost to res non-ice cards, the court must randomly trash a card from HQ. <laughs> This is so nasty. This is really disruptive. Um, this is not a card I want to see played against oh, me yeah. if I'm playing a control deck like RP. Um, yeah, this is this is terrible. Yeah. I I don't I don't want to see this card on games. <laughs> I, I think any corp. I mean, it's right. like I mean, especially for running like heavy asset economy. Yeah, and you're installing doing a lot against like um, is this a NEA, uh, NEH killer? Um, it's not. I think that, RP is going to have a harder time yeah. with it than NEH might, but yeah, I wouldn't be I wouldn't want to be resin marked accounts or anything while this is while this is floating around. Or even a Jackson. Yeah, even, oh wow, yeah. yeah. I, I honestly hadn't even thought of that. Yeah. I mean, every time a person reses a Jackson, it's like, okay, lose a card. Do I really want to res that Jackson? <laughs> That's a great. It's a great current. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's another great anarch current. They yeah, I, th current. I, th I think I think this, you said this is one of the strongest. I think one of the strongest currents. Right. That yeah, they have. the Anarchs are definitely really getting right. a lot of support from for that mechanic. Okay. All right. All right next next card. card. Off campus apartment. Zero cost resource. It's a location. Off campus apartment can host any number of connections. Whenever you install a connection on off campus apartment, draw one card. It's one influence. Uh, it's. And I'm not sure about this one. It's a little <laughs> scary. You get tagged. <laughs> And you're losing breaking news. Yeah, you're losing a lot of stuff. So Elizabeth Mills probably yeah. has this on the top of her list for redevelopment. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna bulldoze this. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a little scary just for card draw. My concern to... is there's not necessarily enough connections that you want to be installing. Yeah. I mean, you could cram three Fall Guys in here and maybe like a John Massanori or something. But then what else are you Underworld Contacts? If you got that, I, I guess you could for the card draw. Maybe I mean, yeah. And then you get tagged accidentally. Yeah, and then you host. get tagged, and then it's all gone. Yeah. So you got Rachel Beckman. <laughs> no, no, she 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 boogies before anybody else is even. Yeah, she's dead anyway, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, she's dead at the door. Okay, all right. I get the the career fair, which is a zero cost event. It says install a resource from your grip, lowering the install cost by three. It's a criminal card. Um, it's it's uh, easy mark kind of easy mark money, I guess. The only thing that I can see with this is some completely jank combo nonsense with uh, <laughs> with Comet, two resources, with Comet, Kaylee, two resources that you yeah. want to install, and another event, but then you've played four cards out of your hand and you're going to spend the rest of your turn drawing up anyway. The only the only thing I thought of is this with, like, liberated accounts. But that's just getting you through, that's getting you a three credit discount on something that's making you money anyway. Yeah, yeah well, I noticed in the last game you were playing, you played Supplier with Liberated Accounts to, to save you that. Yeah. Or, so you play it, I guess you get the, the benefit early on versus waiting a turn. Sure. But you then know. I see Supplier, you get multiple uses out. This is just one influence for Takes one, card one, yeah, one reduction. Right. It's Easy Mark. It's it's really just Easy Mark. It's the same It's money. a little bit more efficient than an Easy Mark because you are saving the click to install whatever resource that you're installing. But the problem there is that there's just not a lot of resources that win you the game, I think. Yeah. And that just sort of pushes this out of needing to needing to use this particular card for me. And there's gotcha. not a lot where you need the three cost reduction. No, there's not all. a lot of good yeah. resources yeah. that have a real high cost on them, unless you're like hard casting a um, Rachel Beckman. Rachel Beckman, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, that's what I mean. yeah, yeah. You get her yeah. out of there, you get in your hand yeah. for five. I mean, is that worth I, it? No, probably okay. not. <laughs> I mean, it's not a great card, but it's an interesting card. Let's yeah. put it that Yeah, way. yeah. I mean, it, somebody will make it work. How did you call it? Jank what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's some combo <laughs> wombo right nonsense right there. All right, you got the next one. You got All right. Our next one is Dorm Computer. Uh, this is a zero-cost piece of hardware. Place four power counters on Dorm Computer when you install it. Uh, click and a hosted power counter make a run. Avoid all tags for the remainder of the run. 
it's not it, it's notably not a console um which is great yeah and it doesn't trash when it's out of power counters so once you've used it up you can you can hawk a day sop if you want to mm -hmm. um the biggest problem is just the anti-synergy with any of the run events that are going to give you tags like if you could maybe spend that power counter and not a click to you know get that effect then you could do some account siphons or you could do some vamps or whatever but as it is maybe one of them in a deck with tyson observatory if you're seeing going against people with a lot of data ravens i don't but yeah like yeah. if you're on yeah. you're through yeah. data ravens or yeah. it, it's a little What's scary the, for the me one but yeah you're not going to see it very often yeah you, I, like gutenberg or whatever right i mean those and who knows tags. maybe we see a you know maybe we see some kind of insane nbn identity later on that Tags just tags out of you. constantly. <laughs> yeah. Well, Argus is that way too. So this would prevent the Argus. Yeah, you tag, could theoretically. Right? Yeah, you could theoretically dodge an Argus tag with this. So you so, say, oh yeah, I'll take the tag, but then you dodge it. Yeah, that's not terrible. I, I like this card in theory. I just don't know where the deck slot is for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it, okay. Compare this to like paper tripping. I think I like this one more, but Paper Tripping is a very edge case card if you get tagged a whole lot. Yeah, you get the if you know if that's storm. what you're going for, yeah. Yeah, the mid-season storm. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so, so, yeah, it's, it's a good... I think this has potential, like you said, down the road, maybe. Maybe not right now. Just a matter of finding a deck slot for it yeah, and being in a meta against, that's... Yeah, if you're, playing, yeah. if you're playing a lot of tags, yeah. If, yeah. If, if your meta is that way. Yeah. Yep, gotcha. Good, good. All right, so you get the next one next there, Josh. Next ID. Haley Kaplan. Hey, your favorite. Yeah, Haley Kaplan, Zero Link, uh, 4515. First time you install a card each turn, you may install another card of the same type from your grip, paying its install cost. It's it's a great ID. Um, You've got a deck running this. Yeah, right, I have you know? a deck, a double deck running it. Oh, uh, you got a double deck. It's a double deck, and it uses Beach Party. So uh, I got to play a, ga uh, a couple of games against this this week. Um, yeah, it's definitely got potential. She's on par with Kate. Um, for rig speed? For the speed that she can rig up and for the click compression that she can generate. Um, definitely a good idea and definitely an identity that we're going to see, especially with the amount of Shaper support that we're seeing yeah. in this pack and, and later on. So is she the daughter of the professor or is there a relationship here with the professor? I think she just... Uh, no, because I think the, the professor teaches at Levy, which is okay, in New Angeles, gotcha. and we're, we're up in San San. Yeah, we're in San San. Okay. Gotcha. All right. It's Excellent, ID, Josh. Yeah, yeah I think I think it's going to be a really strong yeah. ID. Very strong. I ever. I mean, I've seen a lot of players already bringing it. So. Oh yeah, yeah. She's going to be. She's going to be. She's going to see some play. Okay. So I got the next double event. So it's a one cost double called Game Day. Of course, it has all the double text. You know, additional cost to play this. And it says if you have fewer cards in your grip than the maximum hand size, draw cards until you have cards in your grip equal to the maximum hand size, mm -hmm. which is great with another card that's going to be showing right, up here shortly. Yeah, run, yeah. yeah um, that just goes without saying. Hey, this, it makes this... Boxy even better. It does do that. <laughs> If you're using it, yeah. Hey, it just make Boxy. You can play think, Boxy now. I think that they've been pushing this. I think they've been pushing this idea that you can just have a bunch of cards in your hand as your as your damage protection yeah. for a while now, and we're seeing some more cards that are sort of pushing that to be something that we're actually going to see yeah. becoming viable. Instead of plastic creep, right? You basically, of, card up and you're good. Yeah. Um, but that means like it means Kominu. you need. Yeah, like as long as you don't run afoul of a Komino, yeah. you. Um, but you know that's pretty unlikely and be prepared for it so yeah yeah, yeah i mean but that's one card that will continue yeah. to be played i think and splashed even in other sure. factions i mean because it's it can wipe your whole hand out at the yeah. very least it's definitely on par with something like diesel or um uh probably more like quality time right um it's gonna get you some cards and it's cheap so yeah, 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 and I and, and I like the fact that it's a double and a double deck. Yeah, it's even better. Right, it works well since I'm coming. Yeah, because there was there was some them. really cards that were not great doubles. But anyway, hey, guess what you're gonna get, Nick? This is uh, sh uh this is Haley's console. It's Comet, four cost hardware. It's console, uh, one MU, and the first time you play an event each turn, you may play another event without spending a click after the first one resolves. Limit one console per player, oh, oh. and it's two influence. Holy crap! <laughs> So I think that this is probably too expensive for prepaid Kate as it exists right now. You think? Probably, but I could be dead wrong on that. Um, you don't think it makes it better? Well, your you know, whole point of prepaid Kate. Yeah, is the whole point is, is to use those. Per turn. Yeah, is to okay. use those. Is to use those uh, prepaid counters. Um, that said, 
I think it'll probably see some play in some decks. I know people have been experimenting with using it in a Ken Tenma deck. That's exactly what we were, we were just talking yeah, about that before you got here. That's yeah. going to be great in Ken, Criminal, I mean, yeah. It makes him uh, even a better runner. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he gets one credit, and then he can play two back-to-back. -back. Yeah. I mean, and it's every time you play an event, right? Uh, the first, first time. time. Yeah, just first the, time, just the yeah. first time. So the first time he gets a credit, and then... But you're probably not going to be playing more than two events in a turn. I mean, that's two cards out of the five that you're holding... And they both have to be run, you know. Right. But the thing, but I think the thing is, is like early bird, it was always a priority. Sure. So, so now you don't lose that necessarily. You, you yeah, play I think that, I, but then you can still get a fourth click. Yeah, basically. early bird secure, early bird bounce off of security testing, and then do some other stuff, and you're still on four clicks. Yeah, that could. Yeah, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. I it's mean, fun you off of a run. day job. You could day job and then do something else. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> that's that's a best day job stim hack. Yeah, day job. That's a seventeen credit swing on two cards. <laughs> Uh, have you seen it played? I haven't seen it happen yet. I, I'm waiting for it too. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean it's it's a great console. I mean it's going to see a lot of play. In uh, you of could also decks. account siphon in to push your luck. Oh yeah, account siphon. They have no money, so then you and you, then you push your yeah. Then you and you, really you gamble it against them. Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea, but I want to see it happen. <laughs> yes, I, that would be fun. All right, cool, man. Next card. Uh, Three cost program study guide. It's icebreaker decoder. Study guide has plus one strength for each power counter on it. One credit to break a code gate subroutine. Two credits to place one power counter on study guide. It starts with zero strength and it is four influence. Wow! And it is. It's a great decoder. Wow. And yeah, I, chambers I, are spoiled for choice on their decoders. <laughs> I uh, I brought. I was kind of had Nasir semi-retired, and I brought them back just to mess around with study guide because I have so I have so many recurring credits that don't get used every turn and you can use them on this just to bump your power up so this is a little bit more expensive than torch to get it up to four strength but you don't take that big tempo hit that you're gonna that right. you're gonna do if you're gonna nine credits yeah if right. you're gonna if you're gonna drop a torch without cheating it in yeah um and if you have the reoccurring it they're essentially free because sure yeah. yeah if you if you're paying for it on cyber feeders or um I was using my toolbox. Mm -hmm. you know. Or yeah, you just don't need... Uh, yeah, or you just don't need a super high-strength code gate right mm -hmm. away. So, yeah. yeah, I think this is definitely a really, really good decoder. Yeah, so now you so now you got... So you got Study Guide, you have Refractor, you have Gordian, you have Torch. I mean, like you said, and you got Zoo even. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's like, what, what do you take your pick? Yeah. Right. I and mean, it looked like Refractor was going to be yeah, the that's best what we thought. for a long time. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Well, here is the card that's going to be real interesting. Le the London Library. It's a unique card. It's three costs. It's a resource, and it's another location. And it says, trash all programs hosted on London Library when your turn ends. Click. Install a non-virus program from your grip on London Library, ignoring the install cost. Click. Add a program on the London li Library to your grip. Oh, my goodness. Free play all day long. It just takes you two clicks, right? That's a lot of your turn. But hey, if you're dropping fem and femming a piece That's every a good turn, point. I mean, it's a free fem for nine credits, and you could basically make a run between. It is also an install effect, so it triggers Haley. Yeah. Um, so you install on this, and then you trigger something, something else. else. Yeah, I actually hadn't thought about it using using fem, but that's definitely a good <laughs> that's definitely a, a definitely a good use for it. Well, yeah, I think John was using that. What, he last was night. Use, he was using it, and it does waste pretty much your entire turn, but it saves you a lot of money. You can move that fem around to where you need it, where you want to go that turn. Especially when you find out what what piece right, of find out where you need to go. Yeah. Um, I wonder if there's not some exile playability in this. Install some stuff on it and then just let it get trashed when oh, it, at the end of your turn. And then you yeah. get to draw cards. And then uh, you have those. You still have those same effects to install your stuff, but this is a way to get that stuff into your heap and to get some utility out of it before it gets there. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's I good. Mean, it kind of fits the theme too with London. You know, I mean, it just, I, he's like a street guy. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool. Okay. Cool. All right. Yours. Our next one is Tyson Observatory. This is a unique resource location. Two cost. Uh, click. Click. Search your stack for a piece of hardware, reveal it, and add it to your grip. Shuffle your stack. Really good hardware tutoring. Um, I guess hardware tutoring is just a really slow effect. That's fine. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, if you need a hardware tutor, I think the biggest use for card like this is that you can cut down on those consoles that need to be installed early and go heavier on something like this in, in its place. 
Um, and maybe only one one off. Yeah, and yeah. only go like one dinosaurus, and then free up that extra space for some other for some other more versatile cards. So you don't have as many dead draws. Or or yeah, or maybe you go more hardware because I mean usually you only run a console, maybe some memory. Well, this would maybe open that up to some other try some different things. yeah some mm -hmm. hard, more hardware builds where you have this wide variety of hardware maybe. Yeah, I could see something. You know, I could see something like that. That's the thing. Um, a good way to get your plascrete. When you need it. When you really need it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you see when you see that scorch coming down the road. <laughs> yeah. I thought about it in, in a stealth breaker deck, but that two clicks is just I don't think I want this in stealth yeah. because I'm gonna be going with a lot of stealth chips in a stealth deck, so I'm not gonna need to be looking for them as They'll much. They'll come up eventually. Yeah, Hopefully. I mean that's well in a stealth deck, I mean that that that's I guess that's where you'd have all the hardware too, right? Right. You'd, you'd have all the stealth breakers, you know, sure. the criminal one and all that fun stuff. Okay. Yeah, it has a utility. Next card, Beach Party. Hey, this is the card you're talking about, I think. Yeah. Zero cost resource. When your turn begins, lose a click, your maximum hand size increased by five. So yeah, I I've actually been writing this too in Haley. With What's ten cards in hand, with the double deck, it you have more cards to play off both of your double events or your double installs it makes it a little faster are you running the chronos type adjustment too did you the mean that? anarch one that gives you the cr yeah click using back. that and i'm using the one that turns my doubles into singles so <laughs> oh the starlight, <laughs> starlight, 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 starlight. Fine. okay all right. so my economy is you have all of all of doubles do you, do you run, run um uh gene shop in that one too yes okay yep, yep running <laughs> so, that too so gene shop you got the lucky finds you got all that fun stuff. lucky find the power nest yeah. all right nets, cool okay. Cool. This is notably not unique. You could, in theory, have a bunch of these down if you were yeah. if you were doing something like that. I don't know if you'd really want to do that. But, but it says when your turn begins, lose one credit. So I don't think you can lose multiple credits with the way it's worded. Um, no, you can It'd definitely lose card. multiple clicks at the start of your turn. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, yes, you can. And then maximum hand size increased yeah. by. So you could actually jump up to fifteen. Yeah, and you could. Yeah, um, two of these employees. Well, you could install hard at work. Uh, and then Wild Side, Beach Party, and Starlight Crusade funding, and then you turn into a goldfish and just retire. Just sitting there waiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you turn into a goldfish. All right. All right, this is interesting. Okay, all right. So I've got Research Grant. Um, uh, this is a one, uh, one agenda point, three cost uh, agenda, and it's research. It says when you score... Uh, research grant you may score another copy of research grant that is installed so, oh my goodness so you could actually have a little horizontal hb i think that this is well, probably a good direction for fast advance strategies to go mm -hmm. um the agendas themselves in fast advance have traditionally not been something that a lot of utility is generated from they're just there for points um and this is in theory sort of like a three two it's potentially, yeah, a three, yeah, three two or a three three even, right? Um, you could because you could have two of them out and score one and score sure. the next and score the next, right? Yeah, um, you could shipment from Mirror Morph to install more than one of these at a time, mm -hmm. and then and then uh, maybe rush it through with something else. That could be kind of interesting. Yep, I think that's difficult to pull off, but. It's certainly entertaining. Yeah. Um, and it's good archer food uh, if you're not using it for anything else once, yeah. it's, once it's scored. Yeah. The other thing, too, I think, I don't know about you, Nick and, and Josh, but, dude, this is Lucas. Look at that. It's just a cartoon version of Lucas. I, I, I could see it. I, could, I, could I, mean, see it yeah. I mean, you know, if you look at the way, I mean, it's... It, I think it's I think it's Lucas in in, in portrait, <laughs> but it's cool. It's a, it's a good it's card. Agenda, yeah. Something different, always something different. So, all right, yours you got. All right, we have uh, Turing. This is a four uh, four cost two strength Haas code gate. Uh, Turing has plus three strength while protecting a remote server. Runner cannot use AI programs to break subroutines on Turing. Um, end the run unless the runner spends click click click. Awesome. That's uh, yeah. That's that's pretty solid. I think an RP. It's even even better. Put it over remote and RP. It's, it's expensive. Three, it's three influence. It's I wouldn't. Influence. I wouldn't have the influence room for it in an RP deck. I think, but I think in I think in a Haas deck where defending remotes is often a, is often an issue because you might be running bioroids. Um, this is something that provides the provides Haas with a with an answer to that. 
and it's AI defense, and we're seeing a lot of AIs right, right exactly. now. Yeah, exactly. That's it's I think always good. It's a it's that that's the best part of this whole thing is it's AI defense. Mm -hmm. So I, I it, but and, and three, I mean, it's a five string code gate, which is, I mean, that's the size of uh, of um, Lotus Field, right? Uh, Lotus Field is four. Is a four? Mm -hmm. But it can't be can't be reduced. Can't be reduced. Yeah. So, but I mean, it's it's good. I mean, it's cheap for four 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 credits. I mean, that's good. Yep. All right. You're next. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Crick. It's a one cost uh, code gate, three strength. Crick has plus three strength while protecting archives, one subroutine, install a card from archives, paying its install cost, and it's also three influence. It, it's great. Um, easy, cheap archives protection, and they have to break it because you do not want Genteki installing anything from archives. I think I actually like this better off archives. It's cheap and it's fairly expensive to get through. Yeah, unless they're running a yog, um, and it's got a really that subroutine is just fantastic. Oh, and yeah. that's a must break sub. Um, I could see this getting a spot in some kind of an RP deck to recur Sundus. Um, it's it's half of the architect, right? Yeah, and that's that's a chunk of architect. Notable that this is not a may. You do have to install a card from archives if you can. Yep. Uh, but. Pay all install costs, so you can install ice, whatever too. You can yeah. also you can overwrite something if you if the runner decides to just trigger it over and over again. Ooh, if that's the case, then so if you were running industrial genomics, right? If you're running industrial genomics and you, and you only have card, one shock in your archives, yeah, it has to be installed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it could be a way of potentially if you don't break it, right? Right. They have to pull stuff out of the archives. Yeah, you might not want it in that particular deck. No, I'm just, I'm just yeah, saying. But, I'm just yeah. saying for the you know for from time, the runner yeah. side. I mean, yeah. it's just interesting. Oh, I don't want to. I think I still it. want this. I think I still want this in genomics. I don't think that that's a likely enough occurrence. Yeah, that... yeah. yeah, it's cool because I mean, Crick was actually the guy who did the DNA stuff. Right. So he, I mean, he Watson descri... and Crick, right? Yeah, they described this structure of DNA, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah. And 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 the woman who actually did a lot of the work too, kind of got. Yeah, kind of got a little bit. That's a big controversy still to this day. She it's regrettable that. that I don't remember her name. Um, I want to say Fernandez, but it, that that's the name that comes to my mind. But it's she. She did a lot of the X actual X ray work mm -hmm. to show them the pictures, and they and they were the ones who actually published. Sure. So anyway, you know how that goes. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Next card, I think, is me or you. You. Oh, yep. me. I told a story and I forget the yeah. thing. So I got an X cost operation. It's called Recruiting Trip. Uh, it says search R&D for up to three or X different psyops by title. Reveal them and add them to HQ. Shuffle R&D. Uh, just a note, Caprice is not... Yeah, Caprice is not a Sysop. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, there are actually only six Sysops right now yeah. and none of them are particularly good. Wanna be... Yeah, there's a Akitara Watanabe, um, Bernice Mai, uh, the twins, Midori. Midori, I'm trying to think. Uh, and the other ones. Yeah. And this shows you about how much utility right. people are getting out of Sysops right now. <laughs> yeah, because when we first saw this, it was like, oh, this would be great for Caprice. No, she's not. Yeah. I think this is the really the one bad card out of this pack at this point. The one bad card. Okay, we'll take one bad I'm gonna, card. Yeah, but it's a great... I'm going yeah. to issue... I'm, but, you know, great art on career fair and recruiting trips. Right. Shame about the text. Yeah. <laughs> um, we will be seeing a couple more Sysops before the cycle's done. We're going to yeah. get Ryan Knight from uh, HB, who is brain damage on demand. Yep. Um, oh, Diego's one. Yeah, and Simone then Tori. D and then Tori. Yeah, and Tori Hanzo. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so at least it could potentially become better. Yeah, this is a card that's that's got a lot of space to grow. Um, we just need to see some Sysops that are actually worth playing. That really power up. I mean, uh, Tori, I've seen. Yeah. I, Tori, you can see. I, I've seen the Twins. Um, I played a little bit of. Uh, oh, Twins can be nasty. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen them played before, and I played them a little bit in a Foundry deck that was fun. Um, Nothing like a Janus mm. twice. Yeah, <laughs> and I've seen uh, I've seen Bernice Mai in some tag storm decks. That was well. That's the way we used to tag before mid season came out. Mm -hmm. Right, Bern Bernice was a way to get, land a, a guaranteed sure. tag, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, but but I don't think I need this to get her yeah. right away. Right. So so are you are you saying that the artist got the two bad cards? Is that what you're telling me? Look, the art on career fair and recruiting <laughs> trip are, are mirrors of each other. 
Um, it's just a shame that the the actual abilities. Yeah, on it's them. Dimitri. Dimitri kind of got. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's so career fair. We have this student guy talking to this presumably Gentechi. Uh, well, it looks rep. like it looks like Midori almost in the background. Uh, that yeah, that might be Midori. Yeah, looks like Midori. Yeah, and then on a recruiting trip, we've got the first person shot of this executive guy interviewing this uh, this student guy. I hope Dimitri didn't have to do these. No, <laughs> it doesn't look like Dimitri did the other psyops. So, all right. You're have yeah, blacklist. Oh, yes. This is a zero cost asset from NBN. Cards cannot leave the runner's heap for any reason. Three to trash. Oh, so good. Yep. I want I, this is gonna see a lot of play. I think this could be as almost a splash for as Jackson is. I think the biggest issue here is finding a spot for it. That's that's, um, a, that's exactly right. what Josh said. But there are a <laughs> lot of there are a lot of runners right now that are using a lot of recursion. Um It'll cripple a lot of Kate tax. Yeah, a PPVP does not like this card. I don't think a lot of them. I mean, everyone, I mean, most runners always run Parasites at least, right? Or, you know, or you're hopping Knights right, or sure. whatever right. or Rooks. I mean, you know, Reyna doesn't like it. I mean, there's a, I mean, anyone running the Arx. Yeah, Max, Max and Valencia definitely don't like oh, this. Max. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what happens with Max if she, oh, that would suck. Yeah, yeah. cards can't leave. Uh, She's got to come trash this before the retired yeah, right, deck runs you just out. Kill Max if you if you time it where they can't get in. And yeah, you get this get this rest at the right time, yeah. and if you can defend it for a couple of turns. Yeah, it's definitely one of those ones. Oh, this would be nasty in like an RP deck where you where you have like encry- you're running encryption protocol because there's only one influence. That's only one influence. Yeah. I mean, so you throw that in a server and then you have encryption protocol and you make it like six to trash or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you can you can definitely build something here that's going to that's really going to lock a runner down. Yeah. Next one is a two cost hey. Gutenberg. It's a sentry tracer, three strength. Gutenberg has plus three strength while protecting R&D. One subroutine trace seven X successful give the runner one tag. It's three influence. And uh, I mean, I've been running hunter forever <laughs> just because it's irritating mm-hmm. yeah. and this is this is just a much better version of hunter this thing is brutal yeah it's almost guaranteed dagger you're, sp- you're right. spending at least what probably let's say you've got um well i mean you can you mimic, can switchblade it you can mimic it well you can't mimic it but it's on r&d well and on r&d that's, yeah. that's the problem and that's, where, that's would... where you're getting most of your agendas from <laughs> yeah. if you're up against nbn yeah. yep yeah that's where i would always throw hunter so this is just an easy no-brainer mm-hmm. replacement for it are you running two or three? I haven't decided yet, because my Enmiet deck is currently a part, so oh, okay. yeah, I haven't, haven't decided <laughs> how many. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's it's really good. I, I mean, I love the art with the stitches, the original stitching. You know, that's what the original code was basically a stitch machine. Right. You know, for for cloth. So it's really cool how they tie all that stuff together. Very cool. All right, so I got the next uh, asset. It's a two cost asset called Student Loans. It's Whalen. Uh, it is, uh, it says as an additional cost to play this event, oh, excuse me, as an additional cost to play an event that, that there is a copy in his or her heap, the runner must pay two credits. I don't like the way that's worded. It's a little chunky. It is a little chunky. Yeah. Let me try that again. As an additional cost to play an event that there is a copy of his, in his or her heap, the runner must pay two credits. Okay. That sounds a little bit better, but still it's chunky. I'm guessing it was a wording issue to make sure that the triggers were they, uh, yeah, in the right. That someone yeah. couldn't abuse it, maybe? Something. It's three to cost trash. It's got two influence costs. So, uh, yeah, this is a knowing card, too. I could see this combined with Blacklist and just, just make it just annoying sure, yeah. trash asset deck. If you're, yeah, if, you, if you're seeing a lot of PPVP Kate, that you could probably, you could probably swing something like that. Um, if you're not running prepaid voice pads, this turns off Sure Gamble. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You can't, yeah. You can't use it. Yeah. Yeah, because it's seven to play then? It'd be, yeah, it'd be seven to play. <laughs> you're only making two credits off of it. And getting rid of this is three more credits. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, uh, you know, what was the card that was um, Target Marketing? Mm-hmm. Remember when Target Marketing came out, we said, oh, that was going to, we'll see that in every meta. And it just never happened. But this could. Do more damage, I think, than target. Yeah, it's, it's a lot easier to make make sure it goes off. Yep. Sure. Yep, exactly. All right, you're up. Have Miramati. This is a two cost barrier, one strength. Miramati has plus three strength while protecting HQ. It's got one subroutine, which is in the run. 
uh, Wayland is two influence. Um, it's a good substitute for an ice wall if you need something in a pinch. Um, yeah. If you need a if you need a cheap piece of stopping ice, that extra one credit's probably not going to bankrupt you. Um, and it's fairly taxing on HQ. So yeah, this could this could definitely see some play. Except for quits all. Quetzal all says okay. Yeah, but all, all but barrier ice. stack up your barriers yeah. against yeah. against Quetz and your your, your gold. Yeah. yeah, and it's cheap to res though. That's what's yeah. nice. I see this like opening hand. It's like okay, it's I know just, where it's gonna go. Right. Of this cycle of ice, I think this is the only one based on a fictional person. That's exactly what we were saying. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't find anyone who has this name that worked with Bucky Weave physics. Yeah, well, there's no Bucky Weaves yet, I think. I mean, they're just starting to work on those. They <laughs> exist in labs, I think. Yeah, but, they but not a thousand foot walls. No. <laughs> All right, right. card. Yep. Uh, zero cost, Breaker Bay Grid, upgrade region. The rest cost of cards in this server is lowered by five. Limit one region per server, two to trash. It is a great cost reduction for the economy card assets. Doesn't affect ice, though. Yeah. Doesn't. No, it doesn't affect ice, but it does affect Eve campaign. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's... Free Eve campaigns or free Adonis. I mean, or or, or your upgrades like, um, you know, Ashes oh, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I mean, it's like, whew. Yeah, yeah. if you were going to... You could definitely put together some kind of a super server with uh, with an Ash, Caprice, Breaker Bay Grid. That's That's a pretty nasty looking server because this isn't five recurring credits or the first thing that you res in, in a in a server it's everything that's in that right. server yeah or the tokyo grid i think is expensive well you're not gonna you're not gonna have two regions in the same yeah, server. oh yeah that's right you can't put a sand sand on this so it doesn't right be there unfortunately yep i forgot that's a region which is a good thing sand sand needs to be <laughs> obviously <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, we'll, we'll just res right. this for free for one credit yeah <laughs> um off to the races the root gets down to one credit. That's really nice, yeah. Yep, because you can't put the root on this. Yep, there's, there's, it, 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 this will see some play, I think. I think this will see some play for sure. Going to be tough to find a deck slot for it, but that said, if you can make it work, there's a lot of potential here. Yeah, yep. Anything anything that lower gives you free money, basically, mm -hmm. for nothing. I mean, it's zero to rest, too. Absolutely. I mean, that's what's even more powerful, yeah. I think, is it doesn't cost you anything to get five credits. Yeah, the asset HB decks... Asset economy HP decks. Yeah, yeah. Really Assets, and then you throw yeah. all the upgrades on it, and then you get the free mm -hmm. free res. So, yep. All right. Well, um, let's go through the art first. I think uh, Nick, we'll we'll start with you since you're the new guy. What 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 was your favorite art? Favorite art. Yeah. Um, I think I don't know. There's a lot of good art in this pack. Um, well, what was yours? Josh, we'll start with you. you take a look. Yeah. That's <laughs> predictable. I, I really like Breaker Bay yeah. Grid. I think it's pretty. That's the like, landscapes are always fantastic. Yeah, the landscape, whoever they get is really, really good. But yeah, I think I think my favorite in this pack, I, I like, I think London Library, if you saw the whole art, I think it would really stand out. I mean, mm -hmm. I think you're seeing a very small snapshot, but I think it's a much bigger picture if you saw the whole thing. I think yeah, there's really that's cool. definitely a piece that I would I would like to see a full size yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think you get a lot of its crop. So, so what's your other one? I guess. So I think I'm going to actually go with uh, off campus apartment. <laughs> it's like it? <laughs> it's cheesy '80s cyberpunk, and I kind of love it. Okay, that's that's fair. I like the pizza. You know, the pizza and the and the uh, drink sitting on there and. And they, oh, he's got a cyborg hand. I didn't notice that. Well, you've yeah. got to have a cyborg hand. You've got to have a cyborg hand. Who is that? Is that noise, you think? It's not noise, though, is it? I'm guessing that's somebody that just hangs around Noise's apartment and yeah. sleeps on his yeah, servers. Yeah, maybe. That's probably, yeah, that's probably true. Okay. All right. So what What do you think is the, 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 your favorite card out of this pack? The, I guess the most meta-changing card out of one card, if you had to pick, that you're going to see everybody play. Um... I don't think everybody's going to play it, but I think the Headlock Reina deck that's going around right now is probably going to find room for Hacktivist support. Okay. Hacktivist support. Or Hacktivist meeting. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and which... I, I think Haley. Just another new a strong ID other than Kate or Shaper. Yeah. Oh, you don't think pro Professor's strong? It's entertaining. It's not <laughs> strong. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think I think Comet though. I think Comet will see a lot of different decks. Um, it helps a lot of different runners. I mean, if you're running an event heavy with Ken, whatever, it just does a lot of different things for you. So, uh, I think that I think that's going to see a lot of play. So, yeah, we get tournaments tomorrow, and uh, you know, I appreciate you sitting in, Nick. I mean, hey, yeah, happy to be here. It's awesome. It's good. I mean, uh, so. I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this has been the uh, Chilo Grid Report for No Agendas, uh, Breaker Bay, and I'm Bob Picker. 
Nick Ehlers. Josh. We'll see you next time. See you. See you.